Whoa! It's the Illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm up here in Ventura driving around looking for surf on Martin Luther King Day. The second time I've made the video, the first one I did outside, but it's so offshore that you couldn't hear a word I was saying. And the video I was making because it's Martin Luther King Day is one about tolerance. Because tolerance is the key to this whole deal. And tolerance. You know, what I think is real interesting is how the people want to make you into like a checklist of ideas. If you think one way about one thing, you must and have to think the same way about a different idea. And that just isn't happening. That's just not what the human experience is about. We're all about contradictions. We're all about diverging viewpoints. And what I've really noticed that is that people have become really polarized to, to one way of thinking or the other. And if you don't subscribe to that one way of thinking, well, you're out. And that's just anti-thinking in my book. Because what I've learned in my 43 years of experience here on the spaceship is that today's set in stone idea or way of thinking about something is subject to change if you're willing to listen to other data points coming across your screen. And what I've noticed is this. Well, I'll just speak of my own contradictions within myself. That, that pe people think that because of one thing you have to think the other. For example, I'm a tree hugger, but I think the environmental movement's totally corrupt. Contradiction. I, uh, I drive a car, but I believe in zero point energy. I, uh, I believe in guns, but I don't believe in violence. I, uh, I believe in sobriety, and I believe in legalized marijuana, legalized drugs. I, like, I don't see how those contradict each other. I believe in, uh, I believe in free speech, even if your speech is non-tolerant. You know, the only thing I, that I'm firmly set about is do no harm. Just don't do any harm to any other people, man. Common law. It's all pretty basic. So I think that it's pretty odd that when, for I can only speak from my own experience. When I try to explain the truths or how I see something, that people kind of get weird about it as if I'm only supposed to think one way. I'm only supposed to have one view on reality. And I go, that's just not, that's just not the human experience. And if, if anyone is so set in one way of thinking that they're not willing to change that way of thinking if new information comes to them, that's ignorance in my book. You know, I have, I've come full circle on a lot of thoughts and ideas and concepts and you know, that's what the human experience to me is all about, is being willing to be like, hey, you know what? I'm wrong about that. I need to broaden my perspective. And uh, I guess I guess this checklist thing that most people do, this like, you know, if you like the Grateful Dead, you must not like punk. If, uh, if, if you like... I don't know, it just goes on and on and on, man. If, if you like mountain bikes, you must not like riding horses. If you, uh, if you like apples, you must not like Kool-Aid. Or it's, it's so bizarre how it works. And, and I find that people want everybody to fall in this weird checklist that if you do this, if you believe a certain way, you must dress a certain way. You must have a certain costume on at all times. Like in, I just don't buy into that thing. And that's not what Martin Luther King was about. Martin Luther King was about everybody letting their freak flag fly. And some ideas that people have, you can't agree with everybody 100% across the board. I, I've just never understood that whole concept that everything that, 
somebody's about, you have to be 100% that person's ideal of you or they're going to boot you out of their reality. Well, like, that's fine, man. You know, the only people I don't dig are haters. Like, haters are, haters just aren't happening in my book. I'm not really that fond of hipsters either, but I have tolerance for hipsters. But the point I'm trying to say is this. Look, I have some transgender acquaintances. And if you don't know what a transgender is, that's someone who was born and realized they got put in the wrong spacesuit and they need to modify their spacesuit and put new parts or take parts off or whatever. And, and this is what tolerance is for me. I don't understand it. I don't get it. But I absolutely support it. I'm absolutely willing to let that person have their space, have their reality. If they want to modify their body, hey man, it's not my body that they're modifying. So I'm fully in support of people doing their own trip. Just because, just because I don't think that what you're doing is right doesn't mean you can't proceed and do what you're doing. In fact, I'll support it as long as it doesn't lead to violence towards another human being. I, I'm totally for that. If you want it, if you want to get up, the, I don't put it this way. I don't support the KKK, right? But I absolutely believe the KKK has a right to publicly speak. I don't. I don't support abortions, but I think that people should have the right to have abortions. I don't own a gun, but I think people should have the right to own guns. I don't... I eat meat, and I probably should be a vegan, but I don't have a judgment on one way or the other. My buddy told me a funny joke. How do you know if someone's a vegan? They'll tell you. I think that's how it went. I'm not really a, a comic. But anyway, I just thought on today, Martin Luther King Day, I would speak of tolerance a little bit. And I hope we can all just learn to get along.